Good afternoon, folks. My name is Henry with Cliff Jones RV in Sealy, Texas. Introducing you to the Laredo by Keystone. The model number is 334RE. RE stands for the Rear Entertainment. This unit has three slides on here and it's about 8,700 pounds. Um, show you a little bit about the unit and really why I like the Laredo brand. They, uh, they are really uh, very luxury uh, units on here. So let me just tell you the reason why. Uh, you get your painted front cap on here, and then you have this rock guard. It's kind of like that rhino lightering that you would put inside of your, in the bed of your truck, but it can stand up to a shotgun blast. Not a, not a slug, but maybe a buckshot. So, uh, to help protect your unit from chips and rocks and stuff from the, from the road. Um, and then you can see how the cap is, in, is, is placed on here, that this sidewall will come all the way to right here, and then they put the cap on and they seal it from right here. Unlike other units where as you're going down the road and you got the wind and the rain, so uh, hitting right on your screws and stuff. So don't have to worry about that with the Laredo. And you can see your LED lights here on the front. And then you have your electric front jack bringing it on and off your vehicle. It's really simple. Just push the button, bring it on and off. You can raise it. And then you have a light right here so you can turn this off and on also. Did you have the bigger propane tanks on here? Um, and then you can actually see whenever one runs out, all you gotta do is just switch it to the other side. So you got the bigger propane tanks. Okay. And then we will put a, a deep cycle marine battery on here in a box, um, and we will strap it down. Okay. Uh, you have storage right here, and it is passed through to the other side. Also, the other entry door on the other side is a little bit bigger because that's the one you'll mostly be going in and out of. Uh, but it is passed through. This unit is solar power prepped, uh, so you can get off grid to do dry camping. You could hook a solar panel. What that does is that trickle charges the battery. Um, so you can actually run your lights and stuff out there. So. All right, here is your six gallon water heater on here. Uh, let me open it up for you so you actually see everything. Uh, take that off. Okay. So you can actually see that this unit does, if you're right over here in the very corner, see that red button? You can run that off electricity or use your propane. Uh, so if you're dry camping, use your propane, then all you got to do is flip the switch and you can use it off your electricity, okay? Uh, and there's the other slide and there's the other one back there. There is your uh, self-leveling stabilizers right there, your, your four-corner stabilizer jacks. They are self-leveling. Um, Laredo is the first of their brand in the bumper pull to actually add these on here. And what those do is those can actually self-level. All you got to do is push the button, get back to unpa uh, unpacking, and then get back to uh, doing what you're, you know, and trying to enjoy the RV lifestyle. Um, those jacks right there can handle up to 20,000 pounds. So you can actually add another one of these on here, okay? Then you have some more storage. You, uh, this would be underneath your bed in your room, which we'll go in in a little bit and see. Which you actually see. And there's your 50 amp service cord. It's about 35 foot long right there. So you could hook it as an electrical device of your choice, okay? So there you go. So this would be underneath your bed. Okay, these hinges, they are slam lock hinges, and then they got these magnets up here. Instead of having those little plastic clips on the side of the, um, on the side, you actually, um, and the door is thicker right here also, so, okay, slam lock hinges. Hey, all right, that'd be for your furnace exhaust right there, and then you got your tires right here. They are 15s, 15 inch tires right here. You can not open up all the windows and then back here in the rear okay you have a ladder rack so you can get on the roof so you can get up there and check your seals or uh whatever else you might need. this is a six-sided aluminum so there's no wood structure in about this at all okay there's your spare tire and it still has the bumper on the back end so if you ever need that backup camera prepped there's two types of cameras one for backing up into those tight spots or about 50 accidents you're concerning kids so that's a good option to have it the other one you can is an observation camera. They, don't, they both are wireless hooked up to the uh, front end of your vehicle. So you can see your blind spots before you make those lane changes. Okay. Then you do have your docking station rack here. This is actually, we will give you a 20-foot uh, hose that's curled. So you, um, you actually hook it up there and it is a quick connect. So you can take it on and off. So you can take a shower outside if needed. And unlike competitors, it does have the hot and cold on here. Then you have your cable and satellite hookups in the very corner over here. You have your black tank flush. The good thing about the black tank flush is whenever you are cleaning out your toilet tank, uh, all you have to do is hook a water hose and it washes everything out. 
uh, back in the days, you used to, to stick a water hose down the toilet, so uh, so you can actually kind of clean everything out. But now you just um, in technology, all you have to do is just hook your water hose up to right there. Then you can do your tank t tank fill or your city connection. All you have to do is, and all that shows you all right here. But before you take possession of anything here, we will show you how to do it. Okay? Get your LED uh, brake lights back here. And this is your other slide on the other side. Hey. Okay. All right. Let me tell you a little bit about these. Uh, your axles and your, I mean your, uh, your Equiflex suspension right here. See, there it is, right there. But if you can see right down there. It's going to go for a comfortable ride, so you don't be shaking stuff loose as you're going down the road. It will flex within three in, three inches um, as you're going down the road. Okay? And then up here, you do have your LED light out here. It is white. It looks really pretty in the evening times. And then you have your power awning also. Then you got your marine-grade speakers out here, so you can listen to your music as you're enjoying the RV lifestyle with you and your family. All right, so then you have... You actually bring a TV, hook your TV up out here, and you got some more plugs there. All right, here is this storage, okay? Your storage, and if you can tell, very over there in the very corner, you'll see the lights blinking right now. That is your self-leveling stabilizing jacks over there, and then right underneath that red handle is your battery disconnect, so you can save your battery um, whenever you're putting it up for storage, because you know the carbon monoxide propane detector constantly runs. So you can actually uh, save your battery. Okay, then you do have a light in here. Turn it off and on, or maybe this one stays on. No, you can turn it off and on from the top. Okay. All right, then you have, here's that 25 foot cord. I mean, your uh, water hose right there. All right, slam lock hinges. All right, these are the upgraded aluminum steps now. Uh, they are very sturdy, they last longer, and then they got this, uh, they are corrugated type where you can actually will not slip. You know, I'm not going to say you won't slip, but they will help you protect you from slipping. Okay. Has the glacier package on here for cold and warm wind and camping right here. And that is your model number. So the installation is very good on here. So it's kind of like a, it is a four seasoned unit. Uh, and there's your industry's best three year limited structural warranty. So they're going to take care of you if anything's wrong with this unit. Okay. And this unit has been winterized. All right. The door is a friction hinge door. You can see it gives me a little bit of friction, so it will not, it'll stand within 20, foot, uh, 20 miles per hour winds on here, okay? Then you have a screen door on those cool days. All you have to do is close it up. And then right up here on top, this is your window so you can see outside your window, but you can also, in the evening time, pull this down right here, you know, so you can close it off in the evening time so nobody sees in, okay? All right, open it back up. Here's your safety bar to grab as you go in. Okay, here is your one piece linoleum uh, floor. Uh, nothing spilt on here, and it will not spill through. Easy to clean. And this is your dometic uh, thermostat. All you have to do is touch it, it lights up. So if it's cold in here and everybody's sleeping, all you have to do is just adjust the temperature where you need to be without waking anybody up. And it's a little bit better than an analog, so it lights up. All your controls are right here as soon as you come in. You can actually see for your slides and you extend your awning right here. And then all your lights, your water pump, water heater, electric or gas. And then you can check the battery level and your fluids uh, in all your tanks. Because it does have two black and two grays. Okay? There you go. Okay. Down here below is your... Uh, carbon, carbon monoxide propane detector, and that's where your heat will come out, right there. Alright, so, let me give you a panoramic view of this real quick, so I can show you what I'm looking at. There we go. Alright, back to right here. Okay, these are the real wood. These are real wood, and you can see these are not stapled and glued. These are actually screwed and glued. You can actually fill the screw holes in the back. So it's going to, these are going to be really tough, and they are real wood on here. And then you got these large um, handles on here to open them up, you know, kind of like residential. Okay? Then you got more storage there. That is your breaker box down below, and your 50 amp service, it's because you do have two ACs. Okay, we're going to start here in the kitchen. This has two refrigerators. You can do one for your drinks, one for the food, or his and hers, 
for the adult beverages, the sodas, however you might do it. Uh, this is that new facing that they put on the front. You know, it's pretty easy to clean, but these do these these refrigerators they run off of propane or electricity just so say if you're at the park and you're out swimming or something electricity ever goes out propane kicks on within five seconds to save your food um and then once electricity comes back on it kicks off okay let me open them up so you can actually see on the inside of these open up both of them so you have lots of refrigerator room okay so you can put lots of stuff in here close them up same thing on the top in your freezers okay so you have lots Okay. All right. It is in your slide. This is your slide also. Uh, then with your couch on that side. Uh, with your recliners. And then behind me, your dinette and your other couches and the slide on this side. Okay. Back to your kitchen. You do have your exhaust vent here. You do have a light on here. Turn it off and on in your exhaust fan. Three burner stove because it's easier to maneuver pots with the three instead of the four. This one heats up to 10,000 BTUs. These are 3,500, so you can boil cook stuff just a little bit quicker. Okay, but you also have a spark, so you can spark it up instead of bringing a lighter along. Okay, then you have your oven down here. There's your oven. Microwave is residential because you can do popcorn in here. So, lots of counter space. Uh, and I love, really like the sink here now. What they're doing is they're straight down. So if you put a cup in here, you don't have to worry about it tipping over. And it is restaurant grade, easy to keep clean, keeps the germs down. Then you can rinse off your dishes here. Okay. We are doing a PDI on this, a pre-delivery inspection. We are getting everything ready for you to come get this unit. That's the reason why there's water in there. Uh, this unit did come in. So it's got two more chairs underneath the bed in the, in the room in there. Um, but it is got four chairs total. <laughs> your dinette and then your couch right here it folds out into a bed along with this couch on the other side um they can fold out also okay make it into a bed all right then you got your well these are recliners there's your bed let me back up i'm sorry guys because sometimes they do have the two couches they fold these are recliners this is actually your sofa bed okay Get your fireplace that helps set the mood in here. It gives off pretty color, but use that instead of using your propane to heat up your uh, heat up the unit, um, or you can turn the heat off. Then you got your radio, which is slash DVD player. It is Bluetooth capable right there from your smartphone. And then you got your TV right here. Lots of storage on both sides. You got privacy shades on all windows throughout the whole unit, so nobody can see in on you. Lots of cabinetry space. Also, real wood. Okay. Okay, here is your pantry. It's your pantry. You got a light inside when you're looking for those late night snacks. And then they got the lips up here to keep the food from falling off as you're going down the road. Okay. Close that up. All right, now into the bathroom. This is a 50, 50 inch uh, residential shower here. You can see it's actually got the three doors that actually come all the way across. So it's actually step stand. You can actually get in here. And then. Pick up the faucet. Set that up there. Right, then you got a skylight for your natural light. And then you actually sit down right there, put your, your um, shampoo, soap, whatever you might need. Then you have your sink right here. You have your medicine cabinet. Okay, and with a mirror, your vanity, your toilet, porcelain. Okay. All right. Close this up into the master bedroom. Lots of space in here. Look at all the room in here. It's crazy. Okay. That is a residential queen size bed. So you can't put one from your mattress store. And then there is storage underneath it. It rises up. And that's where you can store away your chairs as you're going down the road. You got a little cubby holes there. Over here you have lots more storage for your socks and underwear. Whatever you might need. But you have, you know, you're, you have lots of walk around room on both sides of your bed. Uh, you can put a TV there also. You got more storage here. And then lots of hanging in your in your closet. Okay, and then you got your LED light up there. I'll tell you a little bit about the AC. I mean these LED lights, they never get warm, they last a very long time, and they never get they never get warm. Okay? And then you got your glass. This unit does have two ACs on here. Here is one that dumps in this room, and then you have the other one that is ducted running all the way through. So this is a 50 amp service. This one's gonna be 13.5, the other one's gonna be 15k air conditioner. And that is mounted right there. Okay? All right, so this is the 334RE. Please give me a call. My name is Henry. We're located in Sealy, Texas, off Interstate 10, exit 720. We are a Route 66 dealer. 
So please let me know what I can do to earn your business. Thank you guys. 832-960-9806.